so I'm working on my 1973 Crown Supercoach. We're going to change the oil. And we've got a Harbor Freight $7 battery powered pump to pump the oil into the cans that are going to serve for waste oil collection. And we're going to install, I don't know where it is, this Fomoto quick valve to take the place of the plug. So let me find my wrench and we'll get started. Got a breaker bar and a socket. Again, we're going to try not to make a mess. No, we don't need that right now. Wow. Questions will help get the bath and pee blaster. We ended up taking and putting uh, a nice beater wrench on here and then whacking it with a five pound encouragement and we've gotten it to loosen. This phrase was loosen, not come off. Hopefully this is the last time this engine ever sees this plug. And I don't have to go through this again. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure we had one that small. <laughs> we got all <laughs> kinds of bigger ones. Yeah, it's a nice one. Now the trick is to do this without, yeah. so that it drips but doesn't fly off out of here. And if it does, it's gonna make a big mess and I apologize in advance. At least it has a couple threads. Yeah. Good grief. There's no, there's nothing as much fun as taking 11 gallons of oil out with oh, a two gallon pan. It. All right. So this may be a joint effort. If you want to put that hose in, I don't trust this pump. <laughs> So much for five gallons a minute. Mm -hmm. Not even up, is it? There it goes. Is it doing anything with it? Yeah. Not much, but it is. All right. So you know, six dollar pump acts like a six dollar pump. <laughs> Surprise. This is not nearly fast enough for my limited patience. So I think what I'm gonna do, kick that out of the way. Consider this a failure. All right, so 
pull this out here. That's just kind of parking. Fresh gloves on, and then what I was going to do is maybe just uh, one of us can hold this, and I can if you hold it. I can pour it. Sorry, this is a big pain in the ass. Didn't expect anything else. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Somebody said it's just making me work for it <laughs> to show it that I I, I uh, appreciate it. Now I'm going to switch to the second weapon. And this is a four gallon pan. I hear a dog or something on chain. horse things they sell at Home Depot. Oh, yeah. But then how would you get the oil out? It'd be a bitch to try and pour it, wouldn't it? Yeah, you'd still need some kind of pump. Oh my goodness. I don't think it's safe to try and fill this anymore. Alright, so we're getting the last of the oil out. We've got probably seven to eight gallons of oil that's come out and um, we've still got the two filters that need to be uh, removed so we'll do those momentarily um, just letting the oil drizzle out so I've gone ahead and put oil on both sides of this uh, ring and I'm just gonna install this because you know it just doesn't matter if we get every last drop if those are the same. Oh yeah, that's the same. <laughs> I don't know, it might be from 1973. Oh yeah, that's the one. It's just a really tight which is fine. And you know, it's not just this engine. Cummins in general are notorious for oil plug problems. 
Are they? Yes. As in what? Like out? on the five nines, it's it's really like it's it's very difficult to change the oil pan, and it's very common to strip it out. Really. The escapes have the same problem because it's an aluminum oil pan with a steel plug in it. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Brilliant engineering. Ah, that's good. And that is the Fumoto difference. Yeah. And that's closed. And that's open. And I will never have to fight with yeah. the drain, the oil plug again. I really recommend it. And then I'm gonna save this because it's special. Yeah, <laughs> made you work for it, didn't it? Yeah drain this canister filter um, so there's a drain valve on the bottom and uh, I gotta find the socket for it half inch Little 13 yeah, that's close enough Out, but I want to just pull this one up so you guys can see. Yeah, the canister occupies the entire space. File this under things you're glad your car doesn't have. be okay. Well, I can assure you it ain't been in there for too long. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, I don't want to open up that can of worms. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that just becomes a giant pain in the butt. And then this can self-drain. <clears throat> this is half of it. I thought I was going to get lucky and not need a funnel, but, and I think you could in a pinch, but it's just as expensive as oil is, it's better to use the funnel. So I started with eight gallons of oil. When we run it, we'll figure out if it's low or needs more. It probably does. Um, I've got another four gallons on hand, so we'll see it there. Thanks for watching.